Hi, I'm Jeff Stokes. Welcome to Jeff's Daily Dose of Encouragement. Today, I want to encourage you about the hope that is in you. This is the thing that the world does not have. And this is the thing, well, it's not a thing, it's the person, that we have that all of the Old Testament saints didn't have. And, and this did not happen or come to be until Christ came and died and rose again from the dead and then sent the Holy Spirit. And that is what Paul stated in Colossians 1.27 Christ in you the hope of glory. Now meditate on that for a minute. You know, when we're without Christ, we have no hope and we certainly would not be going to glory. But God in his wisdom sent his son Jesus Christ to pay the price, to be the sacrificial lamb for our sins and shed his blood. And three days later rose again from the dead and before he left he said when I go you know I'll send to you another comfort of the Holy Spirit it's in John 14 and <clears throat> you know he will come and not be with you but be in you and so we have Christ in us that scripture I use from uh, 1 John 4 for whosoever shall confess that Jesus is the Son of God God dwells in him and he and God just imagine that you have the the actual the actual creator of the universe by the by the Holy Spirit who is fully God himself living inside you he's come to make his home in you and you are his temple and by that very fact that you have God in you guarantees as long as you abide by him and submit to him and listen to him guarantees your place in glory your place in heaven and thereafter also when God creates the new heavens and the new earth everlasting life it's just hope that's indescribable really and unimaginable it's, it's a massive massive thing that the world does not realize it does not have it does not have Christ in them the hope of glory it is the hope of trying to live out or eke out an existence until the end of this life and then they don't have any hope or any thought about what will happen after that and we have hope now in this life and forever Christ in you the hope of glory it's it's massive the more really meditate on that and study it out it's massive it was a mystery Paul said hidden from all the ages but was revealed to us and revealed of course firstly to the apostles and people like Paul who then were able to preach it and write it down for us Christ in us the hope of glory if you don't know the Lord Jesus Christ you are without real hope but if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead and that's the crux really the fact that he rose from the dead is the fact that we have hope of eternal life because someone rose from the dead and was given a new mortal, uh, immortal body sorry <laughs> that we too one day will get that immortal body because we have believed in the Son of God that he died for our sins and rose again from the dead we will have that same Christ living in us that will one day resurrect our mortal body and make it immortal. You can read about that in 1 Corinthians 15. And for as I said, whosoever shall confess that Jesus is the Son of God, which makes him equal with God, God dwells in him and he in God. So that's it. Hope of glory. God bless you. Have a great day.